Welcome back everybody. So happy 2023. If you haven't been with us before, a channel now that's been going for well over a year and a half, just over a thousand subscribers, 1,200 subscribers, sorry. So today what we're going to do is talk about how we create an empty dictionary. And I suppose the first thing you need to understand is, or ask, not necessarily understand, is why would you do that? Well, one of the main reasons that comes to mind is you may be actually iterating through a set of data and you want to put it somewhere that you can look at it later on in the program. So a handy way to do that way is to use a uh, create an empty dictionary. Okay, so we're going to go down to about five different examples here. Some of them are, to be honest, they're pretty straightforward. They're all straightforward, but some of them are a bit more, a small bit more involved. Some of them are pretty straightforward, as I said. So the first two we're going to look at is pretty, as you can see there on the screen, it's called empty dict one equals curly brackets. So the curly, curly brackets basically is where, um, when you create a dictionary with its key value pairs, where it gets dumped into. So that's the first way you could do it, okay? Or you could basically just call a dict function here. And what it does basically is, we'll again, just go and create an empty dictionary. So if we run this now, okay? All right, so as you can see, that has created two dictionaries, right? So the first thing we've done here, we've basically created with the curly brackets, because they're for dictionaries, with nothing inside. Or as I said, not a second one here. It's just the function, dict function we put, it's basically created an empty dictionary again with nothing in it. Um, it does both to say the same thing. So as you can see, we have the output of this, we have the curly brackets here, the curly brackets here. <coughs> and that's from this here and this here. And then we're basically printing them, obviously. And then we're just looking at the type here. So as you can see, this has generated two empty dictionaries uh, of a class dict. So we know now we have an empty dictionary. But that may, that may not uh, suit you or maybe not suit your needs. So let's go and have a look at the next one. I'm just going to comment this out as I go along. Okay. And there's another way to do this. Okay. So what we're going to do... Oh, yeah. What we're going to do is... We'll just uncomment this first of all. Okay. So we're going to use keys and values in lists, right? So the whole idea behind this is you're going to put your key value pairs in a list. And basically then, put the code we have down here in a second, we create a dictionary with those values. So what you can do is um, you can leave them empty at the start. So the first one is the keys left empty and then the list values is left empty. And then what it basically does, we've just created an object down here and we've said n equals a dictionary and then it says zip and basically bring in all the values in the keys and the values and pair them up and then give me the output. So this is print n and this is print type n. Okay, so now just to go back to that, using zip allows you to iterate over two lists in parallel and then output as a set of pairs. So that's all that this, this bit here, this zip is doing. So if we run this here now, okay. Okay, so that should come up in a second, hopefully. All right, so there you go. Um, again, we've created an empty list, an empty dictionary, my apologies, and it's of class dict. So I just want to show you one thing so you can understand the zip a bit more. Okay, so if we put one and one here, okay, let's just rerun this. All right. So there you know, there you have, you have a dictionary and the key value is one and the, the, the key is one and the value is one, okay? So that's how you would be able to, if you wanted to actually go and create a dictionary with values in it from the start, you could do it that way. But obviously the purpose of this video is not to have it populated initially. Okay, so we'll just rerun this to show you that again. So there you go, there is your empty dictionary using uh, the dict function and then zip to take two lists and pair them up. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is, let's go, as I said, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna go on here and we're basically gonna use a function. All right, so, the whole objective here, I'll just uncomment this bit cell here. So if I do this, okay. So you've probably used functions before and all functions do basically is um, take in values, process them, and then basically give you an output. So in this scenario, we've created, uh, we've got a create dictionary, created an empty, and we're gonna print it, D, which is this object here, with the empty, the dictionary, and then the type of it, as like we've done with the other ones previously. And then we're obviously gonna call this function here. So calling this function is gonna call it, but we're not sending any, any values to it. So when I run this now, give me a second. 
Again, that's created an empty dictionary. So it's gone in, it's not passed any variables up to here. It's basically run the function. It says, it says right, we got this object here um, and it's empty. And we're basically gonna print it, which is this here. And again, we're just gonna see the type is to make sure it's a dictionary. So again, it's a dictionary that's been created, but it's empty. So that's another way you could basically go and create an empty dictionary and then go and basically have no values to apply it at the start. Okay, so I'm just again gonna do this. And we do this here. Okay, so I'm gonna move down. Uh, we're gonna use, next one we're gonna use called list comprehension. And I'll just, I'll comment this, okay. So, what's this all about? So, essentially, um, using this comprehension, the first thing we're gonna do is gonna do loop lists, or object, and it's gonna be empty lists, right? And the whole idea here then is you have another object D and it's basically going to loop over, enumerate over this list and then basically print out, print out again D, which is the, this basically this here, the, the dictionary, and it shows the type. Okay, so we're just going to remove this. And the whole idea for this is that if you have two values in here, it will, it will loop over each one and then create a dictionary at the end if there were values in there. So if we go like this, okay. So again, it's created the dictionary D here, uh, but it's empty because we know it's empty because this this list comprehension bit here is basically enumerating over the loop list, but the loop list is actually empty, has no values in it, and therefore it will come out empty, and that's what we expect. Okay, so that's five ways uh, you would go to try and create an empty dictionary, and then as I said, you could use that later on to part of your program that you can class values into it to append into the dictionary, which then can be used somewhere else to maybe do comparisons, pull data from another table, so on and so forth. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, we've started at the new year. It's been quite busy last year towards the end of the year. So apologies if I haven't been uh, doing as much, but um, do plan to get more into this again and get the um, get the subscribers up and get, get the number of videos on the channel up and spread it more. Do a lot on Python, but basically I want to in this year branch out and uh, look at a couple of other things as well. I've already been doing some on Tkinter and SQL, so on and so forth. So thanks for coming along. I hope you've had a good start to the year. You're keeping well. Take care and I'll see you soon.